Before I came to New Zealand, I knew there was a lot of mountain biking going on here. You know, there's always been fast mountain bikers on the World Cup circuit. A lot of fast guys from here, but when I got here, I saw how huge the scene was and, and how important mountain biking was here. You know, it's a beautiful location. It's it's set up on the hill above the town, looking out over, over some beautiful mountains, overlooking, overlooking a huge lake and literally minutes from amazing down runs. And, me and Stevie were definitely expecting summertime and hot sun and some dusty riding. Every day it's just been cloudy, you know, we've had sun for like a couple of hours whilst we're filming and then suddenly 20 minutes later it's snowing and windy. Pretty much the best riding ever, except we came to more snow than what I left from Canada. If there's a chair left here, I'd move here. We have two days left to film. We have less than half the segment done. It's very windy and rainy. The sun should be shining, but instead the guys are watching Lord of the Rings in the other room because it's pretty gnarly out there and it's actually too we need to even do interviews inside because the wind is whistling against the house. That's a beautiful day. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. The hand the sun's out. You wanna follow me or should I go for it? Oh yeah. Yes, sir. One of the main reasons filming in Queenstown here was, was so awesome was because of the help and support we got from so many of the locals. We had guys showing us trails and so many people wanted to take us out and show us tracks. You know, we've been Steve we've just been ripping our bikes apart and the guys helping us out, mending them, bringing us spares and you know, just some real support there. And I think on a shoot like this you need that because without without those people, the locals there to help you and, and to, to show you what's what, you know. You're in a foreign land and you're just you're just gonna be blowing it.